Example 1. Let's find the inverse matrix for the following matrix. A equals 2, 0, negative 1, negative 3, 1, 1, 2, negative 1, and 0. As we remember, inverse matrix is found by the following formula. A inverse is equal to 1 divided by the determinant of the initial matrix multiplied by the adjugate matrix which is composed of the algebraic cofactors a sub i j found by the following formula negative 1 taken to the power 2 of i plus j multiplied by the minor sub i j So first of all, we're going to find the determinant of our matrix, and we're going to use the triangles rule. So according to this rule, we're first going to sum up these red triplets. So we go. 2 times 1 and times 0 plus 2 times 1 and times 0 and plus negative 3 times negative 1 times negative 1 and then we'll subtract the blue triplets this one, this one, and this one So we go minus 2 times 1 times negative 1 minus 2 times 1 times negative 1 and minus negative 3 times 0 and times 0. So we have 0 plus 0 minus 3 plus 2 plus 2 minus 0 which equals 1 so the determinant of our matrix is equal to 1 determinant of our matrix equals 1 let me restore the matrix. So it is 2, 0, negative 1, negative 3, 1, 1, 2, negative 1, and 0. And now we're going to find the algebraic cofactors one by one. So, a sub 1, 1, according to this formula, is equal to negative 1 taken to the power of 1 plus 1 multiplied by the minor m sub 1, 1. Now, negative 1 taken to the second power equals 1. So, basically, our a sub 1, 1 cofactor is equal to the minor m sub 1, 1. And the minor is the determinant of the matrix obtained from the initial one by removing the first row, in our case, and first column, which is equal to the determinant of 1, 1, negative 1, and 0. So we have 1 times 0 minus 1 times negative 1, which equals 1. Similarly, a sub 1, 2 equals negative 1 to the power of 1 plus 2 times the minor m sub 1, 2. Negative 1 to the third is negative 1. Minor m sub 1, 2 is the determinant of the matrix obtained from the initial one by removing the first row and the second column. which is negative 3, 1, 2, and 0. 
So we have negative 1 times negative 3 times 0 minus 2 times 1, which is 2. Then, a sub 1, 3 is equal to negative 1 taken to the power of 1 plus 3 times the minor m sub 1, 3 which is equal to the determinant of negative 3, 1, 2, and negative 1. So it is negative 3 times negative 1 minus 2 times 1, which is 1. So our first triplet is 1, 2, and 1. A sub 2, 1 is equal to negative 1 taken to the power of 2 plus 1 multiplied by the minor m sub 2, 1. And again, we have negative 1 taken to the power of 3, which is negative 1, multiplied by the minor m sub 2, 1, which is obtained by removing second row and first column. So we have 0, negative 1, negative 1, and 0. Negative 1 multiplied by 0 times 0, minus negative 1 times negative 1, which equals 1. a sub 2, 2 is equal to negative 1 to the power of 2 plus 2 times the minor m sub 2, 2. Negative 1 to the fourth equals 1. m sub 2, 2 is the determinant of 2, 1, 2, and 0. So it is 2 times 0. I have negative 1 right here, I'm sorry. So we have 2 times 0 minus 2 times negative 1. Which is 2. And then a sub 2, 3 equals negative 1 to the power of 2 plus 3 times the minor m sub 2, 3, which equals negative 1 times the determinant of 2, 0, 2, and negative 1. So we have negative 1 multiplied by 2 times negative 1 minus 2 times 0, which is 2. So our second triplet is 1, 2, and 2. Then, a sub 3, 1 equals negative 1 to the power of 3 plus 1 times the minor m sub 3, 1. Negative 1 to the fourth equals 1. Minor m sub 3, 1 is 0, negative 1, 1, and 1. which is 0 times 1 minus 1 times negative 1, which is 1. a sub 3, 
2 is equal to negative 1 to the power of 3 plus 2 times the minor m sub 3, 2, which is a negative 1 times the minor m sub 3, 2. So we cross out the third row and the second column. And what we are left with is 2, negative 1, negative 3, and 1. So we have negative 1 times 2 minus 3, and it equals 1. And the last one, a sub 3, 3, equals negative 1 to the power of 3 plus 3, times the minor m sub 3, 3, which is the determinant of 2, 0, negative 3, and 1, which is 2 times 1 minus 0 times negative 3, which is 2. So our last triplet is 1, 1, and 2. we can build the edge gate matrix. Let's see. So first of all we put a sub 1 1, a sub 2 2 and a sub 3 3 on the main diagonal of the matrix. So we have 1, 2 and 2. And then remembering that the first number in the index of the element in the educate matrix stands for the number of the row and the second stands for the number of the column. We place the element number 1, 2 right here. So we have 2. And then the, no the element number 1, 3 right here. So we have 1 right here. And then a sub 2, 1 over here. And then a sub 2, 3 over here. a sub 3, 1 over here and a sub 3, 2, over here. And now we can find the inverse matrix. So, according to the formula over there, we go inverse A, equals 1 divided by the determinant of the initial matrix, which is equal to 1, we found it earlier, and multiplied by the educate matrix we just found. 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 1, 2, 2. And since 1 over 1 equals 1, the answer is the educate matrix. So, this is the answer to the problem. We can always check if the answer is correct by multiplying the initial matrix A by the obtained inverse matrix. And if all the calculations are correct, we'll obtain the identity matrix. And you can do it in your own time. And if you want to practice a little bit more, here's another example for you. I'll put it in the blue box. So find the inverse matrix for the matrix B, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And the answer to this is inverse B equal to 1 eighth times 3, negative 4, 7, negative 8, 8, 
negative 8, 7, negative 4, and 3. Thank you.